Imagine expecting to have dermal fillers but ending up in an ambulance, possibly going blind for the rest of your life. This isn't clickbait. This is a real risk of injecting dermal fillers and if you aren't aware of it but are thinking about having fillers, you need to know everything in this video before you get injected. Scientific papers have reported blindness after fillers since the 1980s. It is extremely rare, but you still need to take it seriously so you don't end up as one of those statistics. In layman's terms, whenever fillers are injected into you, they have to be put in specific places like your fat or deep down on the bone. If they're placed inside a blood vessel, then it's like placing a barrier across a road. None of the cars can get through anymore now and there's a massive traffic jam. Or in this case, none of the blood can get through anymore and the oxygen that it's carrying isn't delivered where it's needed. This is what you call a vascular occlusion. Sometimes this leads to blockages in the ophthalmic or central retinal arteries, which leads to the eye not having enough oxygen to survive and dying so we lose our ability to see. But this isn't the end of the story. The highest risk areas according to a very large study in 2015 are the glabella, the nose area, the nose to mouth lines and the forehead. My personal advice though is to realize that the blood vessel network in the face is very complex and actually any part of the face is at risk such as the lips, the cheeks and around the eyes too. So if you want to be safe follow these two top tips. Number one, and this is the most important, so pay attention. Your injector should have an excellent knowledge of the anatomy they're injecting into so they can plan to place the filler specifically outside of the vessels. For example, in this video in the corner, I show you how I avoided the blood vessels during lip fillers by explaining exactly where the vessel is and how I made my instruments go elsewhere. Number two, consider using a cannula instead of a needle. If you don't know what a cannula is, it's a long tube with a round tip. The tip is too blunt to pierce through soft tissues easily and for this reason it can be a nice choice to avoid piercing into a blood vessel because it's not sharp enough. It's not always possible to use one though depending on the treatment that you're having so talk to your doctor during the consultation about what kind of instruments are being used. If the worst happens though and you do indeed have suspected vision risk then pay attention because roughly speaking you have around 60 to 90 minutes before blindness is potentially irreversible. First thing to do is to get an eye specialist as soon as possible at the nearest hospital that has one. In the meantime, before the ambulance arrives, your doctor can start the emergency dissolving process using something called hyaluronidase. This is a dermal filler dissolver that's injected anywhere the filler was placed in an effort to get rid of it as soon as possible. Number two, 300 milligrams of aspirin to be taken immediately to try and prevent any blood clotting. Number three, massage the eye. You need to be looking straight forward with the eyelids closed. Then the doctor should press on the eye with the finger enough to push it back into the socket by a couple of millimeters. This needs to be done rapidly around two to three times a second. Ideally, we want this to continue as long as possible because the changing pressure you cause by doing it could help dislodge the filler away. As well as that, it can cause a reflex in the arteries that causes them to get wider for us as a response to being squashed. Number four, breathe and re-breathe into a paper bag. This causes a rise in carbon dioxide levels within your blood, which can cause the blood vessels around the eye to get bigger again. Now, with all that being said, you need to know that this is an extremely rare event. Don't let it put you off treatment because the reasons that lead to it occurring can be negated with good planning, as you can see from this video in the corner. However, it's also not something to take lightly for obvious reasons, so I would highly encourage you to give this video a watch in order to understand how we can make the procedures as safe as possible and not really need to worry about risks like blindness.